following my first video on unboxing the AX3600, now is the second of my three-part video on this. In this second one, I'm going to talk about what is my current setup and how I set the AX3600 to coexist with my infrastructure first. Following that, in the next third video is basically how I remove all my existing Wi-Fi 5 routers and replace with just the AX3600 and what is the performance test? What's the result from it in terms of the coverage across my entire house? from different extremities, from the yard to the service balcony and to the bedrooms. In, in my current setup here, I have my uh, ONT, which is the optical network terminal. So here you can see that the ONT is actually connected to my fiber broadband. And behind the ONT is actually my current Wi-Fi 5 router, a D-Link DIR868L. So you can take a look and see that the WAN connector on this router is actually connected to the ONT and that gives the Wi-Fi performance of my current existing devices to the internet. So now with the 3600, how should I connect it? First, we plug in the power and turn it on. When the AX3600 is turned on without the network, it will show a red light for system when booting up and once it has successfully booted up, it will turn to a blue light. So that's why you see a half dash at the bottom Right, which is basically showing that the system is up. Right? You can see that on the top bar, that's where it shows that if the internet is available. In this case, since we have not connected the network cable to the main router, we will not see that light up. The third step is actually to connect the AX3600 to the main router. So how should we connect? In this case, we have to connect the WAN port, which is the port on the left. Right? And there's three LAN ports on the right. We are not going to use that for now. We're going to connect the WAN port to the current Wi-Fi 5 router. Why, you may ask. The reason is very simple. Because my plan is to remove my existing Wi-Fi 5 router with the AX3600. So having the same WAN connectivity to that router allows me to basically remove the entire Wi-Fi 5 router that I have and also the connection to the ONT with the AX3600 with the same WAN connectivity that will be a very seamless part 2 migration for my devices. So now, let's put the cable from the WAN to the Wi-Fi 5 router as shown in this diagram. With that set up, you will see that in just a moment, right, the upper blue bar will light up right, to show you that it has internet access. And at this point, it's basically we just need to use the, our mobile phone, connect to the Wi-Fi SSID for the AX3600. Now, let me walk you through on my mobile screenshot how this is done. So now on my iPhone, here is the screen of the wireless setup. In the current Wi-Fi, I'm using my D-Link E510. That is my SSID for my Wi-Fi 5 router. As you can see, when we tap on the Wi-Fi, now we can discover the AX3600 SSIDs, which is basically Xiaomi underscore followed by the last four character of the MAC address. So in this case, you can see that I have both the 5G and as well as 2.4G. Right? The 5G is depicted with a suffix of underscore 5G. So I'm going to connect to it. So once I'm connected to the SSID, the next screen will show my wifi.com for the router. So in this part, it's basically setting up the router from the mobile phone. So you can see that once you click the proceed, right, you actually scan the router to tell you what is the problem or if there isn't any. In this case, after a short while, it will tell you that it doesn't have a WAN link, which is basically we have not connected up in the cable in the first part. So at this stage, basically we connect the WAN port to the current Wi-Fi 5 router uh, LAN ports. So once that, then you click the continue. So the router itself will try to configure itself by detecting whether if there's any uplink, right? And in this case, it finds that the WAN is successfully configured, right? And now it basically prompts you with ability for you to change your SSID and also set the password for both 2.4G band and the 5G band. So in this screen, basically I enter in my eight character or more uh, secret key. Right? And I click next. So now you can see from the screen, it shows that these are the two bands that has been successfully configured with the pin for these two 2.4G and the 5G SSIDs. 
So at this point in time, you'll be thrown back to the Wi-Fi setup and you'll show your new SSIDs. So now you can click on either the 2.4G in this case now, or you can wait for the 5G to come on board. As you see that there is a problem with the password, the reason is because the previous password set was different from this new password that I have just set. So now we just have to re-enter the new password. So now I'm switching over to the 5G band right, to change the password so that I can remember these two SSID and I can connect to either of this band anytime depending on the signal strength. Right, so here is the IP address you can see from here and the router default IP. So now let's do some tests to ensure that we have the proper internet setup for the AX3600. First, let's go to the browser Safari. Right, in this Safari browser, I'm just going to do WCCF tag just to browse some of the articles to make sure that it can be properly loaded. Next, I go to YouTube and, right, and just run any of these sample videos just to show that you know, the video streaming is working successfully and is basically very flawless right, with a smooth playback. Alright, so now this test has been proven to be successful and my Wi-Fi AX3600 is configured on my network. So in my next video that's coming out in the next two days, that will show you the final setup, the migration from the three router configuration that I have into a single Wi-Fi 6 router. And I also show you some of the speed tests that has been done on my local area network as well as my old Wi-Fi 5 network and also on the AX3600 Wi-Fi 6 network. So stay tuned in the next few days. It will be my final part of this three-part series and I hope you will enjoy it. So also do drop me a comment whether you like more of this how-to detail setup which will basically help you to understand the step-by-step -step on how to set up the equipment properly so that you will work in the environment. Toss me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, I'll see you in my next one.